Hey everyone, it's Eddie with Faithful Carpet Cleaning. Uh, I am about to go out on my first job of the day today and just wanted to send an update with um, kind of how I get the day started. Um, this is the back of my van right here. So I'm going to show you guys kind of what I got in here and show you what the setup kind of looks like uh, leaving my house so you guys can see what I got going on in my van. So um, I got my CRB right here. Um, I got my reels, my vacuum line, my wand, and the truck mount. All my chemicals on the shelf right here and my fresh water tank. Um, with the fresh water tank, you, um, when I leave the house, I want to make sure it's, uh, pretty full, but right now I only got one job going out today. So, um, it's about 70% full, which should be more than enough to get me through a two bedroom apartment with living room and stairs. Um, so this is my machine. It's a Hydromaster Max 470. Um, just use it. I just start it up, just let it, uh, heat up and uh, get warm for the day and make sure that you know, it actually is running smooth so that when I get to my first job, uh, there's no issues with it. And um, other than that, I will see you at the next door that we go to. Hey guys, so I just wanted to go through my step-by-step -step process when I enter into a job specifically for property management. It uh, changes a little bit when you deal with uh, residential clients um, because you're actually meeting someone there. But when it comes to property management and they give you a vacant uh, property to clean, they usually give you a lockbox code to get into the place. And then I always will take my black light um, for the pre-inspection and my vacuum cleaner inside with me um, when I first enter the home or the apartment. And um, I'll do a walkthrough with the lights off uh, with my black light, uh, make sure I see any problem areas, whether it be dog urine stains, uh, whether it be slime issues, wax, crayons, ink, um, anything like that, even uh, damaged carpet uh, that's ripped or fibers falling apart. I'll usually take pictures of all those things um, just so when I do leave the place and they do their final walkthrough, they don't blame me. Um, so it's really just for my own protection. Uh, but also it's providing them a service. So when I do uh, have to do an upcharge with urine or wax removal or ink removal, they know exactly why I'm charging that and they don't think any negative thoughts as far as me trying to steal some money from them. Um, so after that, I will usually uh, vacuum. Um, I will do the edges uh, along the baseboards. I will then mix up the pre-spray that's desired for that particular job. Um, I will pre-spot only usually with the uh, spots that are um, urine issues. And um, I found that most other, you know, when you deal with urine, you really have to have a product that'll break it down. But I found that most of my, the spots that I come in contact with will, 95% of them will actually um, be uh, eliminated by the regular pre-spray. So to spend too much time spotting isn't my method. Um, I just usually will spot with the urine issues first. And then I'll mix up my pre-spray, I'll bring my hydro force in, I'll pre-spray, I'll bring the CRB and extract when needed. I mean, not extract, uh, agitate when needed, usually on the high traffic areas or if it's a pet odor issue job because we're trying to get as much hair out of the carpet as possible. Um, and then I will set up my wand and hot water extract anywhere between um, usually 350, 400 PSI to about 550 PSI, um, usually around 210 to 230 degrees temperature and um, just try to extract as thoroughly as I can. And then depending on if there's a deodorizer application after the extraction, then I will go take pictures of the job when I'm wrapping up my hoses and uh, post spray each room with a deodorizer. And after that, I write up the bill on the invoices and I send it off and I'm on to the next job. 
All right, guys, so as we walked into the house, um, there's a little slab of uh, hard flooring here. So we want to get in the habit of putting our blanket down uh, to make sure that we're not scratching any floors and also for our chemical to not drip too much on hard flooring. Um, so as I'm doing the inspection, this is the living room. Uh, doesn't look super heavily soiled, but a lot of these um, gray slash brown carpets um, are sometimes really deceiving. Uh, you can see a crease. Uh, we're actually going to be doing um, a stretching job at this place as well. So there's no carpet in there. Um, so that's the first problem area we look at. But we usually, when we start doing the black light, we go around the corners and the edges, the trim, just to make sure that um, usually pets like to go there as their prime spot. But I don't necessarily, other than this tra traffic-y area right here, I don't really see any urine spots that pop out to me necessarily. Um, sometimes it doesn't show up that great either um, on the light, especially if the door is open and the lights are on. Uh, nothing major that I'm seeing on the stairs. And as we're looking into here, we can also see it needs stretching at the hallway right here. Um, we see a little edge popped up right there. Not seeing too many issues as far as spots or stains. One of the other things that we like to get in the habit of doing is when we get into the house, instead of waiting to the end, we like to turn the fan onto the on position uh, just to get that air circulating. As you can see, the previous cleaners that um, cleaned this apartment, they did vacuum. But one of the things that I noticed, especially when it comes to other people cleaning and vacuuming, the, the cleaners vacuuming is a lot of times we can do a lot better in thorough vacuuming uh, the homes because I still get a lot of, um, I still pull up a lot of soil. So we're going to go ahead and just pre-vac the whole house and see what we can. Hey guys, so I'm plugged in to do my vacuuming and I just wanted to show you that there's absolutely nothing in that um, canister yet. So let's start vacuuming and see what we get. comes to vacuuming stairs, one of the things that I noticed is that most people just vacuum it with the wand um, and they don't actually vacuum it with the vacuum. So the way that I vacuum stairs is I actually take the vacuum and vacuum it and then I use the wand going upward. So I'm going to demonstrate for you how I do it right now. One of the reasons why I like the Bissell um, carpet cleaner or vacuum cleaners is that there's a little handle on the back where the cord goes and I feel like it's a good handle to hold on to. Um, and the vacuum cleaners are relatively light, they're relatively cheap, and they are light, um, and they do a good job. So I'm going to demonstrate that for you right now. Alright guys, so after vacuuming, picked up all this stuff, um, a lot of sand-ish dirt uh, with some hair in it. 
So that's uh, two bedrooms, a living room, a hallway, and some stairs. Actually not that bad considering how I've seen some other ones. So I'm gonna get to the clean. All right guys, so we're on the second story. You can see my van right there with the solution line coming out of it. So we have our Hydro Force right here. We're about to be pre-spraying. the CRV. Hey guys, uh, coming back to the bungee cord um, holding up your hoses right here as we can see. You just wrap it around a few times and then make sure it's tight and put it up like that and you're good to go. Specifically, just a tight blast 
as much water as I can of which I've put down. And this was that uh, more heavily soiled traffic -y area right here. So sometimes I'll even go over it again. You still see a little bit of dirty water coming out on the extraction. Alright guys, so here's the finished product of the living room. As you can see, um, the main traffic -y area on the right far side went away pretty well. Um, here's the stairs. As we go up, we can see the lawn marks on there. Here's the hallway. And like I said, we're going to take care of the uh, stretching marks. My guy's going to come later on today and do that. Turn off all the lights when we can. And then this bedroom. And that's... Hey everyone, I just want to say thank you so much for spending time with me today. Um, watching my video. I hope it was a blessing to you. I hope that you learn something from it. And uh, if you have any questions, please give me a comment, um, like, subscribe to my page. I'm going to try my best to put out some more stuff on a weekly basis, hopefully, um, even possibly a couple times a week. So if you have any specific questions about the process or uh, anything, just uh, shoot it down below and please share. Thanks, guys. Have a good day.